After a year off the bikes, we were back. Holly and I had been living and working in Wellington whilst we saved more money to keep on cycling. Here we are excitedly leaving Christchurch Airport after putting the bikes back together. Our route headed south from Christchurch through the mountains, past the lakes and down to the south coast. Then we turned north, riding past Queenstown, Wanaka and up the west coast to Picton. Sit back, relax and enjoy the spectacular southern island of New Zealand. With us, World on Two Wheels. Uh, so this is Kerwee. We're hoping we can camp here. I think over here somewhere. Uh, so our plan is to hang around and have some tea. Have some tea and just wait for someone to turn up to see if we can camp here. The next morning we set off from Kerwee in search of the Southern Alps. Day two, we're getting absolutely battered by the wind again today. It's, uh, this northwesterly is um, turned into a bit of a westerly and yeah, it's real punishing us. After the winds dropped and the clouds parted, the mountains came fully into view to reveal fresh snow. And with that, we rode westwards towards Geraldine with a sense of optimism and excitement. Little did we know there was rain on the way. With our clothes and spirits sufficiently dampened, we set up camp and fell asleep to the pitter-patter of rain on the tent, only to wake to a crisp spring morning. This is the face of a cyclist. He's got to go up and over. Can't even see it. Up and over that today in the rain again. <laughs> Thank you. 
This is day six. These are the views we've got this morning. Having some real cold nights at the moment, but every morning we wake up and we have views like this. It makes up for it. This is um, Lake Lake Middleton, I think, just over this kind of verge here. Lake Middleton. Um, uh, we camped about two or three k around the corner last night. It's fairly remote, actually. You know, it's just as beautiful as the bigger lakes, Tekapo and Pukaki, but there's no one here. We we started on the Alps to Ocean Trail. Uh, not yesterday, the day before, and I've been riding that sort of intermittently for the last two days, and it's um it's brilliant to be able to get off the roads um, and have our own little space to just like ride in, even if it's not it's not off, often paved with all this Ooh. stuff is a little bit bumpy, but we're having a real good time. Having a real good time. Woo. Yeah, we're, on this, we're on this track now. Um, the first two or three k's were. A mixture of pushing, cycling, um, struggling, I guess. But um, we've just joined this, I think, what is the kind of main track. Uh, we've got about 5k's uphill, and then we're just setting down to Omarama. Look at this, though. It's just mad here. It's just nuts. Yeah, we're having an awesome time. I have a constant smile on my face today. At this point, we had completed the Alps to Ocean Cycle Trail from Lake Tekapo to Omaru. In the space of a few days, we traded the mountains for the sea where we followed the coast down to Dunedin. The ride to Dunedin was extremely damp, with damp pours becoming a daily ritual. 
But with the prospect of a dry house and a warm bed to go to, we pushed on up over Mount Cargill to complete part one of our New Zealand trip. The first part of the trip had taken us through some stunning scenery, but we were keen to get to Dunedin for a day off the bikes and to dry out a little bit. Join us for part two, where we continue south to the Catlins and meet up with some old friends on the Around the Mountains Trail. Thank you for watching and see you next time.